here. So to, uh, the project I'm working on next is rebuilding my roadie system, which is reverse osmosis deionization. And, you know, I've had these filters a really, really long time, and I'm fixing to try and get my tank up and running, so I figured it's time to replace these. So that's part, part one is we're gonna rebuild the reverse osmosis system, but I've always been curious what these are made of, so we're gonna take it apart and see how much crap did it catch. So this is a reverse osmosis membrane. I mean, this is, this is it right here. And you can see, yes, it caught quite a bit of nastiness. I mean, that's what reverse osmosis filters out, and that's the whole membrane. Sure isn't much to it. Right back. All right, so here's my new um, cartridge, and you know, it's much more supple, it's clean, it's not nine years old. Uh, and I bought these from Bulk Reef Supply. They, they've been a good vendor to me, so I wanted to reward them with uh, the, the purchase. A better fit, looks a little different, but we'll see. So I'm just going to run this on here hand tight, and then I'm going to put the the uh, brine line back on. Brine is the name for the unfiltered water. And then I'm going to push to disconnect. And then that was really hard to get off, and this is one of the reasons I made the video, so I'm going to bring this closer. I'm sure there are better tools to do this with, but I just happen to have couple of oil filter wrenches and they did the job quite remarkably so this is how I did it. again. The rubber strap wrench is a little bit tricky to figure out, but it's great for grabbing hold of stuff without damaging it, and that's what we need to do here. So we need a way to grab the filter housing, and then we need a way to grab the, the nipple. This case my hand is strong enough but the second wrench gives me a good way to grab this because I don't have the hand strength to do it so that's all you do is you take this out and you're gonna be amazed at how much nastiness comes out of here and then I found it hard to get the the old filter out so I just used this to break the suction and you can see all the nastiness coming out pushes back in no big deal now I've got some other projects here so let me stop and regroup and I'll get to the next part of this it's also time to change these filters because these are all nasty and that's one of the reasons I'm relocating the uh, assembly and I've got the 
nice wrench here to do this. And one of the things about having the workbench is it doesn't matter if the water spills. Whew. Right back. I got something else for that too. So I really think you need a work sink anytime you have a uh, fish tank. And I went ahead and bought a bottle brush in order to get down in here and get the algae and stuff that was growing in the slime. Even if you don't have a light exposure, you're going to have um, you're going to have slime growing in your your filter housings. That. That's a reloadable charcoal filter. And then these are my 5 and 1 micron filters that are going to come off next. Move the camera back a little. These are disgusting. Yeah, that's good old city water. And yep, yeah, city water. That's why we filter it. I won't drink the shit. But I'm going to clean this up. So now that's light enough to actually put on the wall. So, but before I do that, I'm going to actually just disconnect it and I'll make it even lighter. So let me get this mounted. Up there, I wanted to see if I can clean off my uh, gauge so I can see what my incoming water pressure is. And uh, I decided not to hold the razor blade by hand, so I'm using a pair of wire cutters because they're not really well suited to the purpose. But I think they'll do the trick. Actually, I'm gonna get a bigger pair of pliers right now. So, hey, I've got a pair of Harbor Freight grips, similar to vice grips, but not nearly as well made but they will probably do the trick. Yeah, I want a good grip on this. There we go. Now I'm going to turn this. So I'm scraping against glass, so it shouldn't be a big deal. Let me go see if I can actually find the holder for it. I honestly thought I ordered another one of these. And this is the time to do this because this is only going to become a bit more pain in the ass later. So clearly that's not working. Go back to Captain Unsafe. Oh, the 
reason it's digging is it's not glass, it's plastic. Yeah, fuck me. Alright, let me let me recover for another one of these, but I'm gonna order another one and not install this one until I get the other one because I want to be able to see my my uh, water pressure. Alright, so I decided to go ahead and replace this and um, I ordered another one on Amazon. Um, bulk reef supply was really competitive on the price but it wouldn't get here for a week and this really needs to happen. Um, so it's just going to sit here for another day. Another day ain't going to hurt crap with this thing. Um, and in the meanwhile, I'm going to go ahead and change the charcoal canister. So let me move the camera over here. So this is a refillable cartridge, and this comes off, and this comes off. Oh. It's supposed to come off. Yeah, I'm going to go do that over the trash can. So. If it's uh, really tight, you can heat it up with water and this will expand the plastic and should loosen it. But again, I'm going to do the shaking over the trash can so that when it comes out, it doesn't go in my sink. So here it is. I, after beating on it a little bit, and there it goes. Now it came out and a bunch of charcoal went everywhere. So let me go empty this in the trash. So you can then rinse the parts out and reuse it.